So we've looked at risk and in the last video we looked at relative risk and relative risk remember was the risk of something happening with a condition divided by the risk of something happening without the condition. So we would used this attendance data and we were looking at the risk of failure and we worked out the relative risk of failure was the risk of failure with non-attendance divided by the risk of failure with attendance okay and we worked out that the top one was 27 out of 46 and the bottom one is 17 out of 100 and when I do that calculation so 27 out of 46 divided by 17 out of 100 I get 3.5 so you're 3.5 or oh, yeah 3.5 times more likely to fail with non-attendance than if you had attendance absolute risk though that's different because the probability of failure with non-attendance is 58% yep it's 58.7 really so let's just quantify that 58.7% and the risk of failure with attendance is 17% no big calculation there 17 out of 100 so the absolute risk is 58.7% minus 17 so you are 41.7 percent more uh, it's 41 percent chance of failure with non attendance over attendance and that's quite a difficult concept because you've got two things the same here that are telling you something different and if we looked at other things we could get uh, other things where you have a relative risk of 50% less likely but an absolute risk of 2% difference and you just got to be really careful about reading the question and what they ask you to do. So if it's a relative risk, you're going to work out a amount of times. If it's absolute risk, you're just going to find the difference between the risks. Trust me, this is not an easy topic because you can get statistics from all over the world where drug companies and other people are using risk in this way and they flip between relative risk and absolute risk without ever actually defining what they're doing so it's just a case of making sure that you're aware and reading the question carefully